Hello everyone, welcome to App Coding. Today we are here to solve a question named Crossword Puzzle. Okay, so this question have a very very name in the market. So today the video is going to be good. Okay, so let's go and talk about the question first. So in this question we are given a uh, 10 cross 10 2D array, and that contains plus and minus, right? So in the 10 cross 10 array we are having filled with plus minus plus minus plus minus, and this minus represents that that space is vacant we can fill something in that space if we want right okay and we are also given a number of words which we have to fill in that crossword okay so i've told you minus represent the vacant space we have to fill the words in that vacant space and we are given the set of words also right and here the third line says the same minus represent the empty space to be filled okay now let's go on the board and discuss the question a little bit after that we will try to code the problem okay so here this is the array that is given right these are the vacant space this 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 and this okay and what we have to do we have to fill the words inside these vacant space and these are the words that are given right so how we are going to do that so first of all what should be your uh, first answer we are going to traverse on this array and whenever we find a vacant space what we will do we will try to fill our word there okay and how we are going to do that first of all we will traverse wherever we find this minus symbol we will check can we place our word here okay if it is yes then we will place and we will move forward right this is going to happen here okay now after this do we have any possibility that another word can also come in the same place right my simple question is that can we have multiple answers for the same questions yes it is also possible let me tell you how okay not in this question but certainly in some other questions like just suppose this 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 and this this is a problem and the word is and 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 right these two are the words that we have to fill so what are the possibilities there are possibilities that and is filled like this and and is filled like this right and another possibility is that and is filled like this and and is filled like this okay right so this is possibility number one this is possibility number two so certainly there can be multiple answers okay so for this we will use the backtracking right okay and one more thing two words one is placed horizontally and another is placed vertically these two words can share the any character right like here london and delhi sharing this word d okay so this is also a possibility we have to take care of and the second thing is that neither this horizontal and horizontal words can't share the words and can't be together as well like if we have word like delhi and iceland these can't be written like this because we can't read this delhi iceland like there should need to be a break there should be a perfect fit for this word right so horizontal and vertical can share a word share a character but Vertical and vertical can't share a word and horizontal and horizontal also can't share a word, right? So this is the condition now now let's move forward and I told you that the word should be proper fit for the place like uh, It can't be like this uh, If we place Delhi here, so it will be D E L H I It is filled here. It have a space for it, but it is not the perfect fit It have a space left here as well and here as well, right? So this can't be done as well now so these are the conditions that we need to take care of okay so here what if we draw the recursive tree for this problem what will happen just suppose what will we, what will happen oh we just erase this we need the words so we'll leave that okay so in this problem what is going to happen if we make the recursive tree so what will happen we will explore the 200 ways Okay, so it will be very tough to make the recursive tree here because for this position 
first of all we have two possibilities to place like we can place horizontal and we can place vertical right so at every position we have to check is there a possibility to place right if there is a possibility so we can place the word right and every time we have to check two things we can place horizontally or we can place vertically okay so uh, uh, are you not getting confused that we can place the same word horizontal and vertical as well so let me give you an example for that as well just suppose this 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 uh, this and this this is the crossword that we are given and the word is again and 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 right so here also and can be written here as this and here as this as well so whenever we are checking for and we will take this into consideration right we will check it for vertically and horizontally as well we will check both the conditions right okay so let's go and i have told you almost every condition that is required to be fulfilled here right so first of all what we need we need to traverse on this 2d array we will start from that and before that we need to check the word we need to pick out the word which word we are going to place right so let's go on the editor and try to code it so here the first step was we have to pick out the word from this words of array right so let's take a word a string oh my god a string word which be equals to words of text we are given the index like starting is zero so we are starting from the zeroth word the, the word that is present at the zeroth index right so this is done now we are having the word that we have to place we got the word now what we need to do we need to traverse on that 2d array this array right so let's go for that we need two loops I mean, i equals to zero i is less than uh, this length and uh, the length is constant this is 10 cross 10 uh, crossword right so we can take it as 10 my plus plus right okay after that for in i equals to zero or uh, not i j equals to zero j is less than 10 j plus plus right so this is a loop to traverse on the given array right this part is done now what after that after this we have to find a place to place the word so what is the condition and one more thing as i have given you the example of this this word can share the a with this and this word as well right so for placing a word two conditions are there first we need a dash this is very simple condition we can see that and we can identify that the second condition that we have to consider is that the first word is matching with another word here if it is matching it means there is a place to place the word we will check that later but there is a possibility right there is a possibility to place the word so we will check that condition as well okay so now let's move forward and write the code so we have a condition if if what if arr ij is equal equals to dash right this is the first condition either it should be dash or arr ij is equal equals to the first character of the word right so word dot care at zero these two are the conditions okay so we got a place like we got a starting point for it but this is not it for placing the word we got the starting point after that what we have to do we have to check either we can place it horizontally or vertically okay so let's go and do that we will check if can place and place horizontally right okay so inside this we will send our array i and j the index right so this is done if this is possible then what we will do we will place horizontally okay so if this is yes it means this is true we can place so we will simply place the it 
horizontally r r i comma j right this is done now we have to backtrack as i told you there is a possible way one word can be uh, at two places we can have multiple answers okay so we have to unplace the word as well horizontally right it will be a r r i j right this is also done okay but this is during backtracking so in this between of this we will make our recursion call right so that will be solution we have to send the arr words and we will increase the index by one because we have placed the one word so now we have to place the next word right so we will go for index number next right that's why we increase the index the same thing going for the horizontal uh, we have done for horizontally now the same thing is going to happen for the vertically as right so now let's just select it and paste it here okay. this is done now let us see we just have to change the name vertically verti oh my god okay oh uh, here also we have to change the word okay then here again we have to change the word and place vertically okay so this is done okay but one more thing is present here one more thing is here just suppose uh we have right london here right l o n d o n and delhi here right and delhi i think uh, this is a little mismatching i was starting from this point and then it was iceland l a n d and the ankara was here a n k a r a n k a r a right okay this is a little bit mismatching but this is somehow like that like it is written here okay so uh, let's erase this this is not matching let's have a look here okay london delhi iceland and ankara right this uh, how we are going to fill it but when we are uh, tracing back when we are removing the words when we are replacing with the words we have to take care of one thing we should not remove that word which we haven't placed like first we have iterated and we have placed london here okay the second time when we are iterating for delhi what happened we found the delhi here right if the delhi starts from the we didn't place d here we just found it okay this d is of london not of delhi this is just a matching word for our word that's why we start placing our word here right this was the condition so while backtracking when we are removing we have to take care we don't remove this d this d will be removed with london not with delhi okay make it in mind now here is this so what we have to do we have to make a boolean array for every word right whenever we play we are going to place a word we are making a boolean array which will contain the data which word is placed and which word is not okay so for that we are here oh uh, where it is yeah here okay so if it can be placed we will make a boolean array here right okay before placing what we have to do we have to make a array of boolean so boolean what is it in new boolean so what is going to be the size for this boolean array okay we are keep track of the words right so it should be the equals to the length of the word so word dot length right this is done and every time with ing we have to send the boolean array as well while placing okay okay and here again we have to send the visited array while unplacing as well okay in the vertical also we are going to do the same thing we are going to make a boolean array 
for checking which one is place and not new boolean word dot length right this is done so now after this we will send the visited here and here as well area ij and visit okay so now this part is done uh, and one more thing these functions place horizontally unplace horizontally place vertically unplace vertically can place vertically we have to complete all these functions just keep it as abstract for now we'll complete it later right on okay so what is going to be the base case for this problem can you guess okay let me tell you here if we placed all the words in the crossword that means now we have to print our crossword we have make an answer right so exactly this is our words array whenever the index is at last when it will cross the last index it means it is the base case for us we have placed all the words so whenever if words dot length now we have to compare it with index right index whenever it will be equals to the words dot length it means this is the base case in base case what we have to do we have to call the print function with array and return right uh, we have a pre-written function of print here this will do the work for us right so this is the main thing that we have to do now we have to complete all these functions can place horizontally can place vertically okay actually these things are going to be same we just have to write for one function and all these three will be same just with a little differences right so now let's move forward and see how we are going to complete that right so this is done after this we have to make the function okay so public static boolean here we are going to make can place horizontally so can place horizontally right so here what we are having the array okay and oh it is a 2d error sorry for that and one more thing we are having the array of a string i think yes we are having the array of a string which consists actually not uh for checking horizontally we just need the array and the ij the row and column well right okay so int r and c okay this is done now we have to complete this function that that will check can we place our uh word there horizontally or not right so now let's go and complete this function first of all okay now uh, i think we missed one thing here we actually we have to send the word as well to check we can we place it or not right that's exactly i was thinking you're missing something we have to send the word as well okay so here as well here as well okay and i think we missed it somewhere else as well oh uh, yes oh uh, if can place then while placing you have to send the word word right then ij Mm -hmm. here it is done here it is done while unplacing as well i need the word but okay okay this is done here again what we have to do we have to do the same thing here again word ij visitor right so this is done here again what we need we need the word as well so word okay this is done now what we have to do let me tell you the condition for checking can you place the word there or not okay so let's erase this okay this is the line now if we have to place the word so it should be exactly fit fit in this place right so the length of the word should be equal to the number of gaps present there okay and what condition should be there either it should be blank above if we are placing uh, vertically and where our words end after that either it should be blank or it should be a plus 
right this is the condition and the same thing for horizontally as well if you are placing horizontally just suppose here we are placing delhi l h i what should be before this before d before the starting point of the word either it should be blank like either it should be this place or it should be a plus right and the same thing for the ending point as well from where our word end either a plus should be there or it should be the blank space like this place it means it is the last point of the length of the given array right so these are the condition that we have to take care okay now something more can happen just like that if we have placed london or if we place delhi just suppose uh, take one more uh, option here this is iceland this is ankara okay so we have to place so it is also possible there is blank we have to have we can place there is blank we can place here it is not blank but it is the character that is already we have to place that is already present there right so if it is the condition then what we should have to do then we don't have to place the word but we have to move forward but it is placeable right so that is exactly what we have to do we have to keep adding them keep counting them okay that is the true place to place the word okay now let's go towards the letter and try to write in so first of all we need a iterator to iterate okay so for we'll run a loop we have already taken that so until i is less than word dot length i plus plus right so in this loop what we have to do we have to check every time by adding the i value right okay here uh, i should be equals to zero now now let's have a look here what we are going to do first of all the first condition we will check if we are placing in the horizontal way right so we have to add in columns if c plus i greater than or equals to arr dot length so what does it mean can you have any guesses it means the space is not suitable for our word to place it means like uh, we have to place ankara and we start placing somewhere uh, just suppose uh, let me make an example here and then here we have here 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 right and then this plus 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 okay this is the given cross -end and the word is ants okay just take it as so now uh, we got the empty place now we will start checking for horizontally so we'll take a and t and we have to place one more word but this is out of the box okay so we will check it with the length right it is it not crossing the length then it is okay we can place but if it is crossing it means we can't place so what we will do in this condition we are simply going to return false okay this is done now after this what is going to be the second condition the second condition when we are moving when we are iterating on that given array we should get a minus or we should get the word that we have to already place there right so for that what we are going to do either arr or c plus i will be equals to minus it means there is a space for us to place or the arr or c plus i will be equals to the word that we have to place there right so for that word dot care at i right this is the condition in this condition what we have to do we have to keep continue right so continue right this is done what in else part if something else happens so we have to return false it means that is not suitable for us okay now this part is done now what after this what after this we have to do let's go and see we have one condition what was that condition i have already told you for checking the exact fitting of our word there is no two condition either after the word ends there should be blank space like it is the end of the array or 
there should be a plus present right so we are going to check that how we are going to check that just have a look if arr r c plus i what it should be it should be equals to plus right or c plus i equal equals to arr dot length right so these two conditions are fulfilled if these two conditions are fulfilled then what we have to do we have to return true or else we have to return false right so this is the condition for checking can we place the word horizontally or not okay now the same code dicto same code is going to be for can place vertically as well let's just copy and use it okay this is done now we just have to make some changes vertically okay oh uh, we have all the things here i we are iterating after that here when we are checking for columns now for vertically we have to check for rows right so r plus i and it will be c only and here again it will be r plus i this will be c only and 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 and, and what else here we will be checking for r plus i this will be only c and it will be r plus i right okay so this is the same code dicto same code for can place vertically as well right so this is done now what else function do we have to complete let's go and see we have completed two functions can place vertically and can place horizontally here now now we have to complete two more functions place horizontally and unplace horizontally this is also going to be very easy right just let's go and try to code the problem here we just have to public static void place horizontally okay this is done inside this we have some parameters what are these parameters the array the word ij and visited right okay so uh, it was character array word so for that a string word int i comma int j comma we have a boolean array so boolean visited right this is done now we have to complete this function place horizontally if we have done place horizontally the code is dicto going to be the same for place vertically as well right so let's move ahead and see we just have to iterate on the words for it i equals to zero i is less than word dot length i plus plus right so inside this inside this what we have to do we have to check one thing if arr r c plus i is equal equals to minus it means that place is vacant right if that is place is vacant then we have to place our word right so we have to mark true in our visited array so visited i will be equals to true right and what we have to do we have to fill the word arr r c plus i will be equals to word dot carrot i right the word is filled so this is all the function for placing horizontally now now let's move forward do you know why i have visited uh marked visited after checking this condition okay so uh, just just have a look i have already explained it but just have a fast recap if we are placing london we have placed this london right when we are coming to delhi we placed d but we haven't marked it 
because when we are unplacing that at that time we won't remove the delay we will remove only when it is marked true right so in this way we can differentiate which value is at intersection right so let's go here this code is just going to be the same for placing vertical uh, as well so we will copy this paste it just make it vertically okay the name is changed now we just have to change some values now we have to add in row right the column is going to be same this is dice true now here also again r plus i and here c will be same so this is the code for placing vertically right now we are just left with two more functions what is that place uh unplace horizontally and unplace vertically we just have to write one function and the code for the second function is going to be almost 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 same right so let's go here we have placed place vertically after that what you have to do we have to make one more function for public a static void here uh, i think okay mm, we mistakenly really get in the wrong name okay i think p is small right here also p is small please horizontally let me check the name uh place vertically place horizontally right uh this is capital my fault okay here also place vertically right so this is done now what we have to do we have to make unplace horizontally and unplace vertically so unplace horizontally here will be some parameters let's see what are those parameters the first thing is the uh, area of care so care array the second thing will be word a string right and this is done after that integer i and integer j actually uh, we don't need to use ij we can use rc because we have already using ij inside the loop so r and c right okay uh, this is done here also we have to use r and here we have to use c right so this is done now here again what we have to do we have to use r and we have to use c for columns right and there will be a boolean array for marking visited okay so this is done now what we are going to do here let's have a look where we were we're here we have make this function visited like uh, this place horizontally function to place the uh, our word at that point okay now we make uh, we call the solution function uh, this solution function that we have written earlier after that we have to call this unplace horizontally right so in this function what we have to do we will remove the words and we will mark it unvisited in our boolean array right so let's go and try to code that okay so we are here right let's go again we will run a loop and i equals to zero it will be less than word dot length i plus plus okay so inside this loop we will check which word we have placed we will just remove those words right so if visited i is equal equals to true it means we have placed those words right so if we have placed those words we have to remove those words and make a dash there so arr r c plus i will be equals to dash now what it means it means that the word has been removed right now what we have to do we just have to copy this function for vertical as well this is done we have pasted it here and unplace vertically okay this is done now 
what we changes we have to make here only we have to do r plus i and it will be only c this is that uh, now let's uh, match the name the name is same right one place horizontally and place vertically place vertically and place okay so this is this all we have completed all the things function that we have used here okay now this is the turn to run the code so let's go and try to run the code so we are running and we are having some error uh let me have a look here boolean can place horizontally okay 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 two errors at line number 49 we actually got the problem here we haven't defined the data type if we haven't defined here so we haven't defined here as well right so it is also done now let's run it again uh, we are having problem at line number 22 okay um a typing mistake we are having vi dx as the variable now i think this is the last error let's run it again it is not printing something okay <clears throat> actually uh, i think okay uh when we were checking for can we place horizontally what actually happened we are checking length after getting the character right but this is not done first of all what we need to check we need to check the length first so this will be first first we will check this condition after that this right so this is done and if, if, if this is the case here here it will be the same first we will check this condition after that this condition will be checked right so now let's run it again uh yes so it is successfully accepted now let's submit it for all the test cases so all the test case passed right so i hope you have learned something with this video please like and share the video and subscribe the channel thank you so much